Romeo. Hello, my... My friends. I am Don Lopez. And we are back. This thing is dimming in my past. How I became... The Dong Lot. The last time we... We looked at how I won the race. Um, oh, well, oh, it, yeah, it was a struggle. And then, um, after that, we blew up the office. Then we told the hooker to get out of town. And then um, we killed the man at the funeral. Because he knew who I was. Then now, the conclusion of last night, we were back doing something for the other dawn. Dum dum dum. I was walking into the kitchen. Smile back on Sadie's face. Hungry, but I couldn't eat no. I have to meet Frank. First, I go into the back room. I don't think I'll go. I suppose go this way, but I did it anyway. This stuff about the tape. There was a strange note on the table about the canoe, and it was delicious. I stared at the billiard table for a second, thinking of Belvan with billiard, and then I left. I went outside again. Yes, the guy had more than his share of enemies. They never found the body. All oh, and some God's truth. were lying as usual to each other. I laid out the cigarette, and that guy came. Then I looked very surprised to see him. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at a farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city, but I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Polly at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case you're marked for the Don. I says his sleep when F -F Frank sleeps. Man, he's been working us hard. 
Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ruff. Booze records where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, well, I, I just f f f fixed the cars to time. I, I changed the p p plates again. You can't be too careful. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Bastard. Hey, hey! Watch it, pal! Just try it out! Sorry. You know this place? Oh, uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, uh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> 
Now, I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone-cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Do, do, Probably do, knows more about do, our business do, than we do. Do, do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. My suit and my shoes. So, you bastard. For this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! Taking cover! You're in my
Hey, Tom! Polly! What took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. They're cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. It must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. They got heavy, all right. Make Lost Heaven PD look like pussy cats. Search the farm, find Sam, get the hell out. Anyone else? We slip them.
border cops doing Morello's dirty work. Christ, we gotta get to him. Oh. <laughs> boys stay here and watch our backs. We plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. Okay, okay, just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, mm. stay here with him. I'll be back, I'll be back in a flash. Okay. survived worse.
Jesus, this hurts! Jesus Christ! Ugh. Where's the goddamn truck? Crap, we got cops! And Donnie too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. To where the uh, I was founded. What the hell? We're in trouble, Tom! Yeah. They're right on our ass! Good night, asshole! Our friends got company! Ah! <laughs> 
What the hell are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. <laughs> The doc's already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Doc. We'll be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight. Damn right they did.
You're late. Dinner's cold. Work. But they came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. A pops. Yeah. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Hey, you'll need that. You're like a father, I never know. The feds get those books. Our whole operation's at risk. Tommy. Tough day today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Frank sees a Lepara, he'll know. The old ways work.
search for the remains of those brave souls lost aboard the airship USS Akron. The Akron was destroyed in a violent thunderstorm off the New Jersey coast Tuesday morning with the loss of 73 of 76 aboard. The disaster stands as the worst aviation accident on record. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert B. Wiley, spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy. He also spoke of the survivors' rescue by the German tanker, the rumpus heard any big news lately something that Don might want to know yeah, it depends <laughs> what's it worth to you 20 bucks how about 40 all right spill the FBI is in town they're getting something from Morello but I, I don't know what how'd you hear little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Out of my way. Welcome to a WLH Sports Report. There's a sense of anticipation as we await the start of the big game. Our very own Lost Heaven Lancers are out on the road, deep in enemy territory as they take on bitter rivals, the Empire Bay Cannons. This year's Gold Series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. Despite the Cannons' home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the Lancers have bounced back and have really taken their rivals to task. Many of the plaudits and column inches have been dedicated to one man. Lancers pitcher Bunny Smith is one of this year's standout performers. And with this series tied at 3-3, three three, he may well be the key man that brings... Jack Seidel. His solo home run in the bottom of the fifth inning of Game 5 turned events in favor of the Empire Bay team. Victory was canceled out by the Lancers in Game 6, and we now have a powder keg... <laughs> No, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom? What's going on? I'm pretty sure this guy is a robot. The Arden monks does know. Rivals. More than a little bad blood between them and more than a couple of nasty flare-ups in recent years. 
Of course, this occasion, more than any other, could prove feisty. What with the drama that closed out the previous game. That, of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series, and it's not often Empire Bay and Lost Heaven can boast the game's best current hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancers star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers. Elms, Graves, and there was a... Good to see, that's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position, so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the Arbor. The yeah, home of the Empire here. Bay Cannons. Officers downtown. Some fella near you is driving like a madman. <laughs> like the place. And here we go, folks. Smith is at the mound. He winds up. Oh, swing and a miss. That fastball. Bunny shot Deathridge, the cannon's youngster there. That's not going to be something he'll forget in a hurry. This is Lost Heaven Radio. Those account books, Frank. And we return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Where Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around them. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager Frankie Hodge prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion, and you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the gold series, which at one stage had appeared doomed, but they equally teeter on the edge of defeat. It all comes down to the final play. Gotta be some kind Nobody of meat happening. Up in the bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. Bunny Smith then, standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's betraying no emotion, doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series, nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other. What a strapping fellow. 6'2", 195 pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. 
And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. In for the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, ah, it could shit. run. And with bases loaded, they're the taking you to the airport, Frank. It. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. Pass ball and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed on that ball. My goodness. It's fair to say Doherty looks a little spooked. He was convinced he had it. His body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool under pressure. Not a flicker of emotion on his face. He winds up. And that's two. There was Sip on that one. Good Lord. Seidel is barking something at Doherty, but we have no chance of hearing it as the noise of the crowd reaches fever pitch. Doherty's gesturing, and that's only making Seidel more irate. This is it, folks. Another strike, and the Lancers win. If Doherty can get behind it, surely the cannons will get all their men home and snatch victory. A swing and a miss, and that's the winners! Lancers win! Lancers win! And Smith finally cracks an elated smile. He's thrown his cap in the air, as have his teammates. Lancers win the 
Mal. The logo described the Ragnos in the game. This is over. <laughs> Don Morello's plane is waiting for Coletti in one of the hangars. Oh, 
outpost putting Salieri to his knees. Can snake. Yeah, you can cheese and snake them. Have the snake snake them. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. 
I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March! For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Out of trouble, I hope. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. Got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. 
In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. You're making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Nabababababujidi. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si. Who capisce? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Bravo. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Pifauri. Tutto va vale. Is it gonna be your date of the night? Is it be my date of the night, man? And I see you in the void. So bello, mio amico. Tutto bene. Ooh, the bit of pop, ooh. Bring it. 